Oh, Septroid. This is actually a guy from my area. Uh, I've met Septroid in person a few times. Uh, or have I met you in person? No, I think I'm mixing up with someone else, but you're from my area, I'm pretty sure. Um, or that might be Bronzy. I don't know, but I know you. We follow each other on, on Instagram. One of, me, one, of, one of the oldest subscribers and supporters of the channel I've ever had. So yeah, um, here I'm just going to go ahead and go with the, uh, I mean, uh, lead Kyogre doesn't seem that bad next to Mimikyu. And we're just going to go with Calyrex, and fun fact, Incineroar is absolutely the best option for this matchup, 100% hands down. Okay, let's do it. He might not be in our area, Bayrit. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's somewhere in the area. It might be mixing it up. Right on Calyrex. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this lead. Kyogre's Drizzle. Um, I could be a huge nuisance to him right now. I could be a huge nuisance and just Shadow Sneak and Max and Max move. Um, or I could just get out. Do I want to get Greedon in here? I could get Greedon in here, to be honest, and, like, just Dynamax the Kyogre. That that probably isn't a bad idea, as I'm pretty sure they're just going to go for their, um... For their funny little move here. Uh, I'll actually do this. Get the Greedon in. Greedon is going to take very minimal damage here. We're pretty physically defensive. Um, and it's a spread move, so we're also immune to Astro Barrage. Alright, um, that's a dead tell that they're not Dynamaxing the Calyrex Shadow, I believe, because I don't think it factors Scarf into Dynamax when it comes to the animation, I believe. I always forget, but it's not like it matters. Imprisoned? Oh, he's got Trick Room. He's got Trick Room, doesn't he? Okay, all right, I'm, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Uh, there aren't many switch-ins for them. I might even be able to belly drum here, which would be disgusting. <laughs> Press this blades, bounce off of me. Oh, did you really have to crit me there, bud? Come on. Also, Calyrex prevents me from meeting my berry. That sucks. Um, I should be pretty much completely immune to whatever Calyrex wants to do, though, so uh, we'll just go ahead and... Do I want to get rid of Calyrex here? What's in the back? Hmm. Let's go for it. I don't think I don't think Groudon stays on. Psy Shock. Okay, that's fine. Crit kind of sucks, but it's whatever. See if there's Sash. Okay, that's fine. Keyblade's gonna do a decent amount again. Um, I, I'm in a pretty good spot actually. I mean, I can just go Mimikyu here and Shadow Sneak. If Greedon has a million fans, I'm one of them. Yeah, I just always go for this and that. 
And Mimikyu shouldn't take any damage this turn if this works out. Nerf gun, thank you for the follow. Yeah, uh, looks like I got rid of both restricteds here. I'm in a pretty decent spot because I am Scarf Ogre, so whatever comes out is not going to like taking Origin Pulses, and that should allow me to pretty much get a free Trick Room off and then win with Calyrex. It's a little disappointing this game Greed didn't get, didn't get to do anything, but it's it's whatever. Moltres IC starts in three days. Oh, I need to register for that. I'll do that before the next game starts. I always forget. Thunderous the Rank Master. More like Thunderous the Stank Master. Am I right, guys? Uh, there's Urshifu. As it's Urshifu Dark. Okay. Um, yeah, they can't prevent Trick Room. They can't prevent Trick Room without losing at least one Pokemon, at least. Go for the Origin Pulse, Trick Room. Unless it's like... No, even if it's Prankster Thunderous, the only way they can prevent Trick Room is getting lucky with a Thunder Wave. As it looks like they just, you know, don't Dynamax. Nice. Critical hit in the Urshifu. I'm not sure how much that matters as Urshifu. I double crit. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's just going to... It might knock itself out here. I don't know how much it's going to take in recoil. This guy's a set damage. It probably lives. Oh, it takes no recoil. That's interesting. I didn't know that's how the mechanic worked. Sounds like a VGC fun fact. You guys ready for my new series, VGC Fun Facts? It's a companion series to competitive Pokemon lore. Okay, yeah, good game. Okay, uh, let's register for the IC. Why didn't they Dynamax Thundee? I don't know, I think maybe they just forgot, but honestly, if they did Dynamax Thundee, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. All right, I don't know what this is. Um... It hates Trick Room, I can tell you that. Um, yeah, it just kind of hates Trick Room. And it's kind of hard to stop the Trick Room. Do I go green in here? I don't think I go green. In, but I'm gonna anyways. Got any advice for climbing on Showdown as opposed to Cartridge? Um, one of the main benefits of Showdown is that you get to change your team on the fly. Use it. <laughs> Use it. When you start to find out that you're losing the common things, adjust your team and continue. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I tend to climb higher on Cartridge than Showdown, I think. I adjusted the uh, Rav Ravager. Uh, I adjusted the... The Greedon, so it's actually running Cheek Pouch Citrus, because someone kindly pointed out to me that actually Cheek Pouch Citrus recovers more than Gluttony uh, Figgy. Hopefully they don't lead off Thunderous. Okay, they let off Thunderous, um, but they can't stop Trick Room, so I'm cool with it. We're just going to fake out and get it off. That was Defiant, right? Yeah. Fake out, Trick Room. That's fine. Most likely a Dynamax coming in. Lash out. Nice. 
I kind of disagree with this play a lot, mainly because I still get the Trick Room off, and I'm also able to Will-O-Wisp this Thunderous now, which is a huge issue for them. Parting shot into you. Uh, we'll go for the Will-O-Wisp here. If they let me get the Will-O-Wisp off, I don't think Thunderous can recover from that much. Is this a serious build? I saw you using niche Pokemon a few times and loved it, like Mr. Mime. Uh, this is a less serious build, but like one that I'm going to ladder with for a little bit, mainly because it's pretty easy to ladder um, with this sort of thing. I'm running a Greedent on just a standard Calyrex Ice Team, and the only serious niche it has is as a secondary Trick Room Sweeper. And the fact that it's immune to Calyrex Shadow, along with being able to use um, Psychic Fangs on screens. Uh, but this isn't like a super serious team. How's Greedent working out for you? It's working out fine, about as well as I expected. That's fine. Just connect the Will-O-Wisp and I'm happy. Okay. Is it worth getting Greedent in here? I'll try. I'm pretty sure we're just going to get fighting moved, though. I'm mainly relying on the on the um, Cali Ice here. All right, I connect. Hopefully it's not Lum. I'd imagine on this team it'd be AV. AV's just standard right now, you know. Oh, that explains why they just let me do that. Well, this doesn't KO, and I get another opportunity to do this, so... Um... Let's go for the drum. Let's go for the drum. I'm actually gonna Will-O-Wisp this guy now. Oh, let's go! <laughs> That's what I wanted! That's what I wanted! They're, they're in for a world of pain here. They're in for a world of pain as long as I connect. All right, back up to full we go. We have a massive physical defense stat. Close combat shouldn't KO me after a uh, after a Will O Wisp. Thank you, Mimikyu. There's the Behemoth Bash. Oh, <laughs> it's time. That's not going into Greedent. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't ever going into Greedent, was it? Okay, uh, let's send in our Calyrex. Why am I sending in the Calyrex? Uh, because I can just max quake this thing on the right. Actually, I should probably focus down you. Max Quake. Um, high horsepower. Oh, looks like they're not switching out. I'm also policy on my... Um, I'm also policy on my uh, my Calyrex, so Behemoth Bash is just going to bounce off of us and give us um, a nice little plus two. That did a decent amount for a fake out. There's the wide guard, Cope. That thing's gone. Thank you, Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin's doing work today. I must admit, Peter Griffin is doing the finest of work. In the words of, of our squirrel, I can translate from Greedent. He said, uh, outplayed, outmaneuvered. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Sparkles, thank you so much for wishing me luck. Okay, um... Give me, like, one reason not to max strike. Do you get a boost from this? Yes. Uh, do I care? No. I'm pretty sure you go down regardless, to be honest. Like, go ahead and Dynamax. You're not bulky, you're running Lum. You drop to this, 100%. As I spill my coffee all over my shirt. Alright, this is 150 base power since we're using Giga Impact. Let's see if he wide guards. He max guarded. He max guarded. 6pm coffee? Listen, when you're a student who also streams, you kind of need it. KO, please. No? That's fine. The Behemoth Bash? It's like Gen 7 Snorlax. I find it really interesting because... Oh, wow, that did nothing. Uh, so Gen 7 Snorlax could do a similar thing. Greedon is just a more balanced Snorlax. Okay, I'm going to ignore that thing for the rest of the game. I would like to max strike you now. And I'm just going to set up another trick room. I don't care. Peter Griffin's domain has no boundaries. World's strongest behemoth bash. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I mean, I kind of figured Howl's pretty good. I figured to be coaching, though. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud, but he kind of ate that up. And Shadow Realm. <laughs> He's like, I may have lost my Thunderous and my Incineroar. And I may have just demonstrated that Thunderous' attack isn't that great, even at plus one. But at least the Trick Room's gone. Oh my god, no! <laughs> That's what he's thinking right now. Please let me click Giga Impact. I really hope they let me click Giga Impact on whatever's in the back. Ate that like it was another berry, yeah. Oh! I want to Giga Impact this one the most! <laughs> I want to Giga Impact this one the most! Dude. Let me hit it. I'm sorry, little one. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, I mean, I can just, I can just Glacial Lance, why not? Please don't forfeit. Ah, come on. All right, you know, I would have one-shot it anyways. I would have one-shot it anyways, we're good. Um, how much attack investment in Greedon? Let me double check, it's not much. I'm running 140 attack investment, but we're running a positive defense nature minus speed. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is a team from Salt Lake City. I have no idea what it does. Oh, this is so scary. Yeah, this is a Salt Lake City team. Um, the Drake Azult, I believe, was Hustle, Life Orb, something. Might have even been Sash. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this team does. Um, I think I want to lead off Kyogre, Incineroar. Go mimic you, Calyrex here. It's max speed Cali Ice. Okay, that makes sense. I remember there was something weird about it. Result is hustle. All right. Okay. 
Kyogre and Didi. I'm pretty cool with that. It was Psychic Seed and Didi, right? Yep. And Kelly has Seed Bomb. Yeah, it was like a super wacky team. You should try to use Gudra or Azumarill as a meme Pokemon on cart. Neither of those are meme Pokemon, though. They're just both objectively, like, super good. Alright, we have to go Mimi. Well, I mean, Gudra isn't super good. But it's, like, good. Like, you can make it work. That new Gudra, the Steel Dragon type, it's gonna go crazy. <clears throat> I swear if you thundered. Alright, decent damage there. Water spot, that's fine. Um... Is water spot smart here? Do I want a Dynamax and just Thunder? I think I want a Max Lightning. Yeah. I'm going to Max Lightning and attempt to Trick Room. It would really suck if they follow me this turn. But I don't think they're going to. I think they just want to go for another water spout and try to kill the Mimikyu. Alright, there's the helping hand. Let's see if Mimikyu somehow lives, or if I'm just faster. Yep, it's Scarf. Mimikyu does not live. I'm going to take this away from them, though, and I can get in my Calyrex. There's their Calyrex. Um, yeah, okay, I think I know what I want to do. Even if it's max speed Calyrex, my Kyogre should still be faster. So, we're going to attempt to max Geyser you. And we're going to trick him up. Even though they're probably going to follow me. But if they do let me max Geyser, that'd be huge. Because Geyser will probably put it in range of, like, Glacial Lance. They follow me. Did they Trick Room? Did I reverse their Trick Room? Did I just do a Big Brain play? Did I just get super lucky there? <laughs> I think I just got super lucky. If they Trick Roomed... I was trying to reverse their Trick Room, huh? They seed bombed, okay. I still get my trick room off, which is pretty huge. And I get my Incineroar in. There's the Dragazolt. Um, should be able to KO the Dragazolt. Let's go ahead and go for a parting shot onto that Calyrex, as well as a Glacial Lance. I'm probably slower, since they're max speed. And I really doubt Dragazolt Dynamax is here.
And if I recall, at minus one, Incineroar should take this, um, this Max Quake. Sir, please Dynamax your Calyrex right now. Oh, I don't know if that's the Calyrex. That's probably the Dracozolt. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. Oh geez. I probably don't take this. I'd have to crit real hard. Um, if I somehow survive, I probably win. My horsepower? Oh, I'm not surviving this, am I? Oh, let's go! <laughs> okay, yeah, I win. I parting shot again. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, that's why you run Life Orb. That's why you run Life Orb. That scared me so much. Like, I'm like, Electric Train's up, so it's almost like I didn't, you know, even... <laughs> it's almost like I didn't even, um, nerf it, you know? With the, uh, with the Intimidate, but I did, so I'm happy. Grigazel doesn't take this next one. Calyrex gets walled out. Goodbye. It's Grimnay boost there. Parting shot again. As the high horsepower pretty much just bounces off this thing. Rain stopped, so I can now flare blitz it very safely in KO. And that should be game. And I can just Glacial Lance. They're really going for it. They need to crit. Even then, I don't think they beat my Calyrex. Flare Blitz, Glacial Lance. Nope. I don't know what their endgame there was. Because I think this single target just KOs at plus one. Yeah, no. They didn't really have a they didn't really have a way out there. Awesome. That scared me so much, though. I'm like, ah, and then I realized it's not Life Orb. So they lose the Choice Band boost. Dynamaxed is our next opponent here. Uh, they're running a Seismitoad team, which hates this Ferrothorn. Hates the Ferrothorn. Um, what I'm going to do is lead off like this. I think I just do this. Yeah. I can one-shot the Seismitoad with Max Ferrothorn, which is so dumb that I'm going to max the Ferrothorn this game, but real talk, like, it, it goes kind of hard versus this kind of archetype. Like, just hard rain. It goes kind of hard. Yeah, Choice Band Boost gets uh, ignored during max moves, if you didn't know. Under a Seismitoad. Cool with that. A um, little bit upset. I gave him a Defiant boost, most likely. That's whatever. Let's see. Are you Defiant? Don't be. Oh, you suck. You suck, man. Okay. Um, Do I want to Dynamax this Ferrothorn now? It's a little bit iffy. Yeah, 
You know, let's uh let's iron defense. Let's roll the dice a bit. Um all iron defense here, and I'm actually gonna fake out the thunderous. Cause I don't lose too much from that. Even if they dynamax it. They may even just switch in Kyogre. Were you dynamaxing? It's probably the thunderous. So Iron Defense is going to do wonders for us here. It's going to undo the bad thing that we just did. Sides up protects, that's fine. Get a little bit of chip here. All right, cool. They just max airstream, so no max, uh, no max knuckle, which is awesome. That honestly makes me want to just stay in with my incineroar and do this again. Might as well. There's no way they don't have Knuckle, right? If you're running Defiant Thunder, you have to have Knuckle. Airstream again. Okay, okay, okay. Bounces off of us, which is really huge. It's probably a Zation in the back, so this next turn, I'm going to go ahead and get in the Mimikyu. I go for the Earth Power. Oh, okay, they just let me Flare Blitz. No special defense drop, please. Also, there's special Seismitoad, which isn't standard. A little bit annoyed by that. Give me a burn. No burn. All right. Um, I could go Calyrex here, but I definitely need the Trick Room to win is the issue, and that'd be asking to get one shot, or that'd be asking to get doubled up on. I kind of need to wait for the, um, Dynamax to go away. Alright, um, I'm just gonna Dynamax this guy now. Go for an Overgrowth and Seismitoad, we'll try to Trick Room. Really doubt we get it off, though. Actually, no, we always get this off. Thunderous is the fastest thing in the field. We always get this off. What am I saying? I still protect, though. I just don't have to Dynamax now. Yeah, because Seismitoad doesn't KO us. He has to crit. Oh, wait, he might KO us now. Nah, you know, I, I have faith in Mimikyu. Mimikyu's got that bulky special defense that I always say will save it from a Reshiram attack or like a Kiram attack, but never does. So we're going to hope for the best here. Alright, Mimikyu, eat the hit, bud. You know what? That's also, a, that's also an option for winning. Let's see if I would have lived. That might explain the disconnect. That might explain why they disconnected. Let's go, I'll take it. Them uh, disconnecting was a spoiler. They spoiled the ending of the game for me. I win with Calyrex. They acknowledge that it's like, oh wait, I don't have an Intimidate Pokemon. There's a Calyrex in the back. The Mimikyu got the Trick Room off. It's all over. It's all over.